So you set up Zyrobot in your Discord server, but now you want to edit the message for one reason or another. Well, let's get right into how you do that. First thing you want to do is go to your Zyrobot message and go on the three dots here and click copy message link. Next thing you do is then click paste and you'll see this very long URL come up. All you want to do from this is take the final block of numbers here and then cut it and then get rid of the rest of it. You don't need it anymore. With that done, we now want to go to our bot setup channel. And what we're going to do is type in Z or Z and then slash edit. And then we're going to paste that block of numbers. Now, of course, you can type in the message from scratch if you like. But if you still do have your original message when you set up Zorobot, you can just copy and paste that again with the slight change you want to add. But let's actually show that as an example for our message. We're going to go back up to when we created our Zorobot message. Previously, we're going to take this message here and we're just going to copy that. And then what we're going to do is go all the way back down, click on your message and then click shift enter just so it's a bit more clean when you paste it. There we go. And this time around, we don't want toast apple lemon. We want toast orange lemon. So now we have our emojis in and the message is ready to go. Let's click enter and you'll see that our message has been edited. So our message is now there, but as you can see, only toast and lemon have been set up correctly. So we actually now need to set up the orange roll correctly for us to react to it. So what we need to do is go back up to our bot setup channel and we have to do another message here. So we put in Z or Z slash the message. And then we want to use the number which we used earlier. So what we can do is copy that number here. There we go. And we're going to paste that in here and then we're going to enter and there's the message set. So if you remember what we did last time, now the message has been set, we can now add different emojis uh, to different uh, roles in our server. And of course, what we need to do to set that up is type in Z slash add the space and then we need our desired emoji, which is uh, orange in this case, then space again. And then we need our role, which is unbelievably called orange. And then you should see that message come up saying orange added with the emoji orange. So with that done, we can go to roles assigned and we should see our new emoji under the message. And we do. So if we click it just to test it works, we can go on to our user and you can see that I've now got the role orange. Now, some of you may have noticed that the message we just changed there has already previously been edited before because we had three different role options to choose from. We had toast, apple and lemon. So where has apple gone? Well, we actually kept that role in the server. And if we go to the message and click add reaction, then add in apple you'll see that I actually now have the role Apple again. And that's because that role is still linked to that emoji reaction. And what we can do to break that connection is simply delete the role. So we can go up to our server settings at the top here and then go to roles, go to Apple. And then if we click delete, we can then delete the role. And with that, you'll see on the side here that I no longer have the role Apple, but the Zyrobot message still has the emoji reaction underneath. Now you may have had loads of people click these reaction roles and what you want to do is just declutter it and just have the ones which you can actually get from this message. So if we go to the message and go to more again and then we go to reactions, we can actually go to these different ones and click on the X and it will actually disappear. So we'll just do it for bread, for example, or toast, I should say. There you go. So now that's just completely gone. So you can do that with every single uh, emoji reaction, which you don't want anymore. Just get rid of it that way. But yeah, hopefully that's helped you with editing your Zyrobot messages. And of course, if you need any extra help with the setup, you can just check out the tutorial we did before. And I appreciate you watching to the end of the video as well. Please do like it if you enjoyed it. Drop an issue or any uh, feedback below as well, and I'll help you out with that. And of course, subscribe for more. Take care. Have a good day.